on a chicken. Yeah, corn. Yeah, good corn. Come on in. I see that you have the microphone. It's yours. Oh my gosh, what is happening today, Sam? Literally, 6 a.m. is when we start this room in Kansas City, which I'm just down the road from you. My eyes literally opened up at 5.57, and I made the decision to close them for a second. And then, Yulise, you must have sent some kind of vibration out today. I don't know. It might have been Dawn. It might have been all of you. But my next thing I know, at 5.56, one minute before my eyes closed, I am popped out of bed, standing up, going, I got to go get turned on to the clubhouse. So I am here, and I just can't believe all this stuff's happening. So I'm going to hit a couple of things real quick. Garth, I mean, I loved what you said, uh, you know, just about that, um, taking that nap. And I do the same thing, man. During the afternoon, I'll take my 10-minute power nap. If I just start feeling drowsy and I'm not very productive... I'll go lay down for 10 minutes, pop back up, and it's like it's a whole new day. Totally energizes me. I used to call it the old man nap, <laughs> but it does really give me the energy. So what that inspired me today, Stacy was talking about movies. So welcome to Planet Brad. Here we go. Hang on. The movie showing today is Finding Nemo, and I have posted this clip on my Instagram, which you'll find in my profile, and it is the scene where they're doing turtle cruising. And uh, the turtle like jumps into the stream and just takes off and they zip across the ocean. And that's kind of what it made me think of when I thought of this power nap. So, all right, now let me get back to Coach Brad. I'm, I'm that tactical guy. I want to give, hopefully share something that will really help everybody take everything we've been sharing and put it into action. So this made me think back 25 years ago when I first got into real estate. Uh, I was in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, selling real estate and I got in. And I'm telling you, we didn't have Don. We didn't have this room. We didn't have Stacy and the people sharing all their real estate successes and, and Tony and all that stuff. So I had to figure a lot of this stuff out on my own. My first three years in real estate, I mean, I barely made pro poverty level, had two jobs to support my real estate habit. So I was in Minnesota, didn't know anybody. Nin that was in 1991. 1995, my wife gets us transferred back to Kansas City. So I'm a little slow. I think I'm going to give this real estate thing one more shot and see if I can make it go, which I hadn't made any money the first three years. But anyway, I was going to try it one more time from home where I actually knew people. Well, I get back to Kansas City and uh, life hits me, uh, end up getting a divorce. I've got three daughters. I mean, one's in a carrier. Uh, my second daughter is like one and a half. My oldest daughter is three and a half years old. Brad's been selling real estate, going broke for three years. It's all I know. Um, and I had to make it work. I mean, I had to support three girls as a single dad. And I mean, I used to put them in the car and take them to showings. And my daughter, I took her to open houses with me. So going through that as a single dad, being commissioned only, I, I think I'm going to just grab what Frank just said, you know, don't get stuck in the middle. So here I am completely no reason to stay in real estate whatsoever. No success record. It's not working. And I just started following every speaker that was speaking at every event. I went to the training. I would walk up and introduce myself. I would do whatever it took to find out where they were. I wrote them a note, thanked them for sharing with no intent, no ex expectation back. We talked about that yesterday. But they, I just stayed in touch with them. And I started learning from them. And then I just started implementing. And so this brings me back to one more thing that was my push. And that was the simple truths. Don't forget this website, man. It is so fun. Simple Truths has these video clips on there to just inspire you every day in every aspect of whatever you feel like you're struggling in. And for me, it was at 212 degrees, that taking that one extra step to turn water into steam. And it pushed me to be here with you guys today, selling 100 homes a year for 20 plus years consecutively, setting up systems and then being able to share it with other agents so that they don't you know, fail in real estate, that they can support their three daughters when they're single dads. So that's that's kind of my biggest share today coming from Planet Brad, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the little clip. Thank you so much for that share, and I uh, always tie it back to uh, United, like personal and business, a way of living in love and gratitude, which I love. Um, it 